hi guys welcome back to my channel so sorry it's been i feel like it's been ages but it probably hasn't it's probably been about a week <laughs> i feel like it's been about 10 years no it's been a little while since i uploaded on my youtube and i finally have come got round to recording a video i don't know why but i haven't recorded any for it feels like a while i do i usually record a couple a week and i feel like i haven't done any for two weeks or something um, but we've got one today. So this is Lucy and she's coming for a fresh set. A fresh long set. So I've done all the prep on her natural nails. So we pushed back her cuticles using my Ethel tool. I removed any excess cuticle using... Um, what did I use? I can't remember what they use. What I used. Helen, Helen Nips from Navy Pro Tools. Um, and then we, you know, etched the nail plate and we applied tips. Um, and now I'm going in, well, I applied a clear layer and now we're going in with design. Jesus, that took me a while to get out, didn't it? <laughs> um, so we're going for a nice summery set today. So the baby finger was um, just a full now of mango tango from cjp loving this color it's like proper orange love it um so then here that color on the base was um flamingo from cjp and then over the top i'm using glitter from magpie beauty or magpie glitter is it magpie beauty i'm sure it is in the color june um, so I'm just picking up a small bead of acrylic, dipping into that raw glitter and then we're just going to smudge it all over that now. I'll just put a base down just for an added, added pop, added, added, yeah, well added colour, just makes it more pinker doesn't it? And that, and the glitter just lays on top. Um, so yeah, just going to do that to that hole now. I kind of wish I did like an ombre on this one, like pink going into orange, but whatever. So moving on to the pointer finger, um, this is going to be a real long, longish smile line. So I'm using peach sorbet, haven't used this for so long and I forgot how much I liked it. It's real nice. So I'm just trying to perfect that shape there. Um, just to help when you come to file it so you don't have a lot of filing can we just adjust um address even not adjust address my ring finger <laughs> what the hell right so you know i was wearing those nails i caught one um in a we're in a door and i felt it and then something happened I felt something happen it was pain absolute pain so then I eventually took them off um the wrong way I like to pick mine off even though I'm in pain <laughs> never advised to do that <laughs> all my clients get a soak off but me I'm a picker but I knew I'd really badly damaged that and then when I took it off um it had lifted from my nail there was nail separation just a little bit like halfway down just a little section of it so i've just clipped it off just to help with it grow i had all intentions of putting um <laughs> acrylic on that now just to hide it for one um and just to help it grow up but i forgot to and my client turned up so whatever you can just see it in all its glory it feels horrendous it feels bald <laughs> It, like that sounds ridiculous but it feels bald imagine having no fingernails yeah it just feels horrendous but anyway back to this video so yeah we're just building this nail bit up using the peach sorbet um i then cap this little part in crystal glass so i'll just let you watch this part otherwise i'm just gonna ravel on about my bald fingernail
so moving on this middle finger is going to be a marble now I thought this was a good idea but these colors just these two colors just blended together you could barely see any marble I, I feel like I could see it more myself but in a picture you can't really see it they the colors just like are so alike even though they're not alike it's weird um so I tried to do a marble and uh yeah wasn't great but whatever it still looked all right you know I, I said about adding some glitter in it and she said she she liked it so don't know what I did so wrong don't know what I did I think marble's a bit hit and miss like that either looks good or it looks crap no no in between anyway so just going to repeat this process all the way down the nail um, and then I'll be back again I'll be back I always say that So the thumb is going to be like an ombre on an ombre. <laughs> Actually, does, if any of you follow my Instagram, I did a real nice set, a pink and yellow ombre set. Um, so, it was, so it was exactly like this, but on every nail with pink and yellow, like baby pink and yellow, and it was divine and everybody loved it. Um, and I wish I recorded it, but I didn't because I just thought it was plain. It's always the way when you think no one's gonna like a video they're all wanting it but anyway we're doing it on this now so I just applied peach sorbet at the cuticle area blended down just for um, coverage and then here I'm going in with those two colors so flamingo and mango tango and I'm just doing a vertical ombre together pretty easy because like I said before these colors seem to blend really well on their own <laughs> um so that's what i'm doing here and then i'm going to come in now in fast mode and i'm going to cap all the nails in crystal glass
So back to the pointer finger, I'm going to come in with my file and I'm just going to perfect the shape. Um, so I'll just get it all nice and even and smooth and just a nice little at the tip. <laughs> Don't even know what that was. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to come in with my orange. We're going to go for an orange tip with the glitter on top. And I'm just going to add that to her free edge her other hand was her so it would have been her left hand um was the same design as this but it was the like alternative colors so this because i did orange on this finger it was pink on the other hand you get me you get what i'm saying so um yeah i'll let you watch this part So now I'm coming in with my hand file and I just, I don't know why I do this, it's just habit. I just like to go in with my hand file first and just do really nothing with the side walls. Anyway, so now I'm coming in with my e file and I'm just going to whiz over all the nails and debulk that cuticle area and just flatten everything out, make it nice and smooth and even. I'll then perfect the shape and then I'll buff and then we are ready for top coat. So we removed the dust and now we're going in with top coat. So I'm using CJP Tac Free Top Gloss and we'll just apply a thin layer of that over all her nails. She'll cure it in my LED lamp for around 60 seconds. I applied Naf Stuff Cuticle Oil in the flavor. Do you say flavor or scent? I'm going to say, I'm going to stick with flavor because I might lick it. <laughs> I'm joking. In the flavor coconut and we are good to go. So thank you so much for watching. I'm off to watch Love Island now because uh, it's been on pause for 18 minutes. You know, it is what it is. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.